So, what do they need with Charles Wallace? We were halfway through chapter six, and I had asked you all on Seesaw why you think they needed Charles Wallace. And there was, you know, a lot of different answers about they need something from him. He's got something special. So I wonder if the rest of this chapter will enlighten us at all. Excuse me, Charles Walla Wallace began hesitantly. Could you tell me where you're from? Why, isn't it obvious? We're celestial beings. The three of us have come to Earth to answer a desperate summons and to find our newest companions in the most important war. Three of us, Charles Wallace repeated. Mrs. Witch, would you mind taking form for Charles Wallace? Mrs. Wetsit's tone was extremely respectful. It would be my pleasure, a deep voice rumbled. The air next to the counter simmered and a translucent figure appeared. She was cloaked in a royal ball gown of pearly white as though she were made of clouds. You are as remarkable as we'd hoped, Mrs. Witch said to Charles Wallace, gazing into his eyes. She read the very corners of his soul in that moment and smiled at what she saw. Charles Wallace stood up straighter. You said something about the summons and a war? Yes. From across the universe, we heard a call. We were needed here, Mrs. what's -It replied. There is a darkness spreading, and it has taken root on Earth, and we believe the best way to help may be to find your father. She beamed at him as though it were perfectly natural to bring up his father. Most adults dodged dodged the topic near him. My my dad? Charles Wallace couldn't truly remember his dad, who disappeared before his memories were fully formed. But he'd left an impression on Charles Wallace's brain, like a fingerprint in clay. He'd been a poet at heart, always looking for the beauty in the world. Charles Wallace liked to imagine long conversations with him about the benefits of untamed gardens over structured planting beds. But on the whole, Charles Wallace was content with his life. He knew Meg and his mom would be transformed by his dad's return, though he was curious what it might be like to have two parents. Yes, Mrs. Witch chimed in. He's a pioneer in science, and through enlightenment, the darkness is often beaten back. I feel like I kind of just want them to have a British accent, I might just go ahead and commit to it. Education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world, Mrs. Who said with a nod. We'd like to help you get him back, Mrs. What's it continued. Really? You can do that? His skin prickled. With his father home, his family would be whole again. Not just us. We need you to guide our search. You see, we haven't been able to pinpoint his location yet, Mrs. what's -It said. She popped another piece of cinnamon bun into her mouth. Mrs. Who jumped in again. Ooh. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been owing more to patient attention than it is to any other out talent. Newton, English. Yes, indeed, Mrs. Wetz exclaimed. She leaned down towards Charles Wallace. Do you, you think you could bring us a photograph of him by chance? It would help Mrs. Who focus her mind's eye on the location. Charles Wallace nodded furiously. He'd give them anything they asked for and do whatever it took. Mrs. Witch's figure became more solid, and she laid a strong hand on his shoulder. I must warn you, Charles Wallace. If he's where we think he is, he's in terrible danger. As we said, a dark force has been overtaking the universe, and we fear it may have something to do with your father's disappearance. You will have to be brave. There are places 
You may need to go where we cannot follow. Of course, we don't expect you to rescue him on your own, Mrs. Wetsit interjected cheerfully. You can pick other warriors for this mission. My sister Meg, Charles Wallace said immediately. Are you sure? Mrs. Wetsit said skeptically. I've only seen her one time myself, but she seems, well, troubled. I'm sure, Charles Wallace nodded. Meg might not be perfect, but she loved him and her father wholeheartedly. She needed, he needed her by his side. All right. But you may have your work cut out for you, getting her ready. We don't have a lot of time. Mrs. What's it tapped her finger on her chin and her lips pursed. You may want a third companion, too. I'll find one. Charles Wallace said, confident. We have faith in you, my dear, Mrs. Witch said. Charles Wallace glanced out at the window and to the backyard, his mind already spinning with ideas and plans. The seat of knowledge. The seat of knowledge is in the head of wisdom and in heart. Holtzwit, English, Mrs. Who suggested kindly. Charles Wallace nodded gravely. I'll listen to my heart, he promised. Looking at the three figures before him, he beamed with excitement. Yes, the dangers were great. The risks were high. But he was ready, and he would bring his father home and help heal his family. Chapter 7. The It. So we will get to this tomorrow, but I want you to think, who might be the third warrior that goes with Meg and Charles Wallace. Who do you think it might be? I don't know, but we will find out tomorrow. All right, see you later, readers.